Gubernatorial candidates launch negative campaign ads targeting Paul Tribble. And the Virginia Beach homeless shelter opens its doors. Good evening, I'm Jan Callahan. And I'm Kurt Williams. Join us for the complete report up next on News 3. Colonial Cadillac has Hampton Roads' best selection of over 100 luxurious... Good evening. A deadline from China's government reportedly set for students to end their massive protest in Beijing has passed. The Chinese government denies it issued any ultimatum but has troops in place to enforce martial law. Students with growing citizen support continue to occupy Beijing's Tiananmen Square. And Chinese here in Hampton Roads told News 3's Yvonne Simons they're anxiously awaiting the next move. Yvonne joins us from our newsroom. And Yvonne, what are they feeling? Well, Dan, they're feeling excitement. The Chinese people may obtain their first real experiences with democratic freedoms if this protest works. And there's some concern that the military action may force bloodshed in Beijing. The news pictures are inspiring to Chinese living in Hampton Roads. As 200,000 students crowd the street in Tiananmen Square, there is a sense that mainland China is struggling to become part of the 21st century as a free people. Xu Dongshu, a Beijing student studying at Old Dominion University, says the army won't intimidate the protesting students. They started for a purpose, and uh, if they don't achieve that, I don't think there is any reason and uh, there any willingness to give up. Pat Kung, a native of Taiwan, also supports the students. I hope uh, they will succeed and I hope the, the government in China get the message, says the massive people underneath them right now, they need uh, freedom. Many Chinese living in the United States are demonstrating their support in marches from Houston to Chicago. Old Dominion University professor Dr. Stephen Chow says the U.S. always rises to champion the struggle for democracy. Anytime this country uh, struggle for freedom of speech and uh, democratic society, and we always like to help out. But pictures of violence slowly leaking to the West as news services are shut down in Beijing concern them all. I hope there's no fierce violence uh, happened among them. But uh, uh, I cannot tell. Sometimes communists, they really unpredictable. I think the movement is really for the future of China. And uh, we are backed up by the people so we don't have anything to fear. The Xu Dong Xu says confrontation is probably unavoidable right now. It's not known when and how much of a dispute may develop. Jan? Thank you. Yvonne Simons reporting live from our newsroom. Well, Jan, tonight the search continues for a 24-year-old...